So, Dr. Fowler, how are you finding conditions in the newly unified Germany? I was enjoying my new freedom before your stormtroopers abducted me and brought me here. I demand to know, what is this place? You're in my jungle fortress. We're giving you a chance to be helpful and build nuclear weapons for us. We will be generous. Ah, that can never be. I shudder to think what rabid beasts like you would do with such destructive power. Fool! You shall waltz with the tarantulas in the jungle pits until you bend to our will. I'll teach you something. Several of your colleagues await you in the darkness. One of you may change your mind. The rest of you shall rot. Oh boy. Beautiful night, isn't it? Here's our plan of attack. The madman has taken seven of our troops and is holding them in some prison pits. He also... He has also captured three nuclear scientists. All of these people must be saved. The drug lord's weapon assembly plant is also nearby and must be destroyed before his attack planes are built. But keep a sharp eye. There are enemy copters on alert and troops with night sight goggles defending the area. Stay cool. Hey guys, and welcome back to Jungle Strike. Here we are. Mission 4. Night Strike. And... Well, boy oh boy, um, do I hate this mission. And one second, guys. That's better. I couldn't see my OBS overlay. Um, yeah, so, oof, Night Strike. Notice how dark it is. Uh, I'm not sure how dark this is going to be on YouTube. Um, I've had to change the profile on my monitor. <laughs> because on the standard profile, which I have it on, which I really like, um, it is completely black. You can just about see the red blades on the helicopter swirling. So, yes, Night Strike. This mission um, almost made me hate this game back when I was a kid. And I can't remember when I ever finally finished this mission. But I probably almost <sighs> broke my neck jumping up into the air, fist pumping. Because even now, this mission is extremely difficult. Um, to say this mission is unfair is an understatement. Notice how you can see some fuel barrels uh, right next to our helicopter. Look what happens if we look for fuel. Mm -hmm. We get question marks. Look what happens when we look for ammo. We get question marks. Armor repair. Question mark. Oh, I don't even get question marks for armor repair. Yet, yeah, so not only can we not actually see anything, which doesn't make sense because the game says the enemies can see us because they're wearing night vision uh, goggles. We're in a Comanche, one of the most technologically advanced uh, helicopters ever made. And I'm pretty sure even very old aircraft that are still in surface these days have been retrofitted with night vision uh, even the Apache which the Comanche uh, was set to replace could uh, read a number plate on a vehicle from 20 odd miles away uh, in pitch black so yeah I, I just don't like this mission it's really unfair there's also um alert zones everywhere these a cars armored cars are everywhere as well and these suck tires in place of tank treads make these ideal urban assault vehicles good armor damage and fire rate too these will shred you and they're everywhere but wait there's more we have to take out uh, quite a few uh, Apaches a little bit later on in this mission. The Apaches will shred you but that's okay because we can just look up uh, ammo, armor and fuel. Oh, <laughs> no, no we can't. Um, yes, this, this mission is savage. There is actually a commander here that will tell you the location of all the armor and fuel but there's a problem. He is painted with an alert zone. And he is also covered with A cars. 
You remember when I said they will shred you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, imagine what they will do to you in an alert zone when they do twice the damage, have twice the armor, and fire twice as fast. Oh, and have near limitless range. <sighs> so you can actually go grab him now. It is possible. You will lose a life or two, which will make the rest of this mission um, very, very difficult indeed. So we're going to play this one by the books. First thing we're going to do is go take out these watchtowers. Destroy the eight enemy guard towers surrounding your position. This will keep the enemy choppers from detecting your attack. Look for their infrared night sights. That's a lie. They will still... Uh, find us. Don't worry about that. Luckily one rocket will kill these guys fairly. Oh god, a car straight away. Armoured car looking right at us. That armoured car has just done nearly 20% damage to our armour already. Yep. Yep. It, uh, this mission is really savage and to start with, it is probably one of the hardest missions uh, in the Strike series. Now, grizzled veterans like me of this game can somewhat adequately get through. Uh, it is still very hard, and I am expecting to lose some lives. There is one extra life that I know of on this mission. Now notice, even though we've uncovered the ammo, it still will not tell us where the ammo is. Uh, as you can see, it is unfair. This is the level that I uh, scratched my TV with uh, <laughs> a pair of scissors to highlight where there was uh, pickups. So, yes. So anyway, on to the second mission. Green Beret Commando with Flare. A Green Beret Scout is waiting to guard the landing zone. Look for his flare in the jungle, then fly him to the LZ at the village. Secure the landing area first. Yeah, right, let's go do that. Now, the one problem with this is he's guarded by a Apache. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you didn't think it was going to be easy, did you? You didn't think you were just going to waltz in there and grab him? These Apaches have way too much health. See? See how hard those Apaches are. See how much damage they take. And whilst we're here, we're gonna destroy the LZ. Alright, let's grab this guy. How much health are we on? We're on less than half health, and we've barely started this mission. Now there are lots of tents and things. Uh, and these tents and mud huts and things they actually have like some good supplies in a car totally forgot about the a car but one advantage there's actually a lot of uh oh god there's actually a lot of people here that we can pick up to replenish our armor and there is a few armor repairs as well so bear that in mind but due to the nature of how the tracking works in this game, it's very hard to actually destroy uh, buildings like so. Okay, cool. That that will do for now, I think. Right, come here, you. Okay, you're done. And you're done. Nothing good. Well, that's okay. So we have 200 armor left. Ugh. Let's go drop some guys off. Get a little bit of armor. Patch us up just a little bit. Uh, I am not expecting to do this mission without dying. I can't remember if I died in my original video. I will be very surprised if I didn't. Look how many Apaches we have to deal with. Enemy Apache helicopters. The drug lord has hijacked a squadron of Apache choppers and is hiding them in the jungle. Ice them in their helipads before they hunt you down. Yeah, uh, I would say I'm not sure how he managed to hijack uh, Apaches from Boeing or the uh, United States or even the UK. Uh, quite a few countries nowadays use Apaches. 
Um, but hey, we're going to roll with it. Because apparently that is exactly what happened. Also, that H kind of looks like a chip. Looks like three chips overlaid on each other. Um, but we're going to be as aggressive as we possibly can with these Apaches because they will be aggressive with us. And they will destroy us. If we're lucky, they will hit us once. Um, which would fall under acceptable damage. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we've got some armor there. Let's go pick up the armor. The reason we want the armor is because those Apaches do 150 points of damage per shot. Which means... Uh, I don't want to kill that guy. Which means... Um, the <laughs> we can take one shot, basically, from a Apache before we are iced. So we're going to grab that. Anything good in these? Oh, quick winch. She forgot about that. We shall have the quick winch. Not convinced we actually need it, mind. Fuel drums we absolutely will be needing. What's our fuel like? Uh, well, I guess that was meant to be. Right. Fuel. So, ammo is not fantastic, but it will suffice for now. Uh, there is ammo here by our LZ. Good to know. Now, that's important to remember things like that because the game is not going to tell us. Now, these usually contain supplies, but they also can contain enemy soldiers. That's fuel. That's nice. That is a nice one. Come on. Ooh. And sometimes they can... Oh, look at that. See, because our guns are firing so fast. Oh, there we go. Because our guns are firing so fast, it's very hard to stop shooting in time. Anyway, oh god, oh. <laughs> we took that Apache out before he actually got a single shot on us. That's unheard of, really. Oh, damn you. Very hard to avoid their fire. Look how much damage they take. Look at it. It is ridiculous. Right, there's ammo there, which we actually need. Come on. Okay, so we're actually half way to being destroyed again. Great. Oh. Yep, that one's coming for us. Where? Oh. Oof. We got him. We got him. Yes. Now, in actual reality, I'm not sure, to be honest, whether a Comanche would have much luck against a Apache. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they wouldn't. There we go. I knew there was armor here somewhere. That'll do. Come on. There we go. You're dead. Bang, bang. You're dead, motherfucker. Oh, what's in here? Come on. There we go. Now, if we do get... Oh, fuel. If we do get really screwed, I do have a map, which I took the liberty of making earlier, of fuel and ammo locations. Because I'm kind of smart when I want to be. Alright, not bad. One Apache left, and we are kind of low on fuel as well. Ooh, and he had to get that cheeky bastard shot in, didn't he? Now, the actual final mission uh, that we will get on this level will be a commander. The commander will actually tell us where there is fuel and supplies. Why it's the final mission, that again, is really unfair. Um, you have to go through the entire mission not knowing when any supplies are and just get lucky and make your way through or just play it so many times that you uh, bumble your way through. But hey, so anyway, uh, we're now on to mission five, which is POWs and the what? Nope, it's scientists and POWs. I mean, this is basically the same area, so you kind of treat it as one mission. Probably could have been one mission, to be honest, but <laughs> I guess the developers decided to drag this one out. 
Um, nuclear rocket scientists captured from Unified Germany. Three kidnapped German nuclear scientists are being held in sweltering prison pits. Blast them open. Uh, blast open their bamboo cages and fly them to the secured LZ. POWs, American POWs and down pilots. These American troops are being held prisoner in the other seven pits in the area. Blast them out to fly them to freedom. Yeah, this this is kind of where this game starts getting a touch easier, I guess. Just because uh, we will get lots of armor for freeing these guys. And we get a badass cutscene. <laughs> Although I'm not convinced um, firing uh, missiles at these guys uh, whilst they're in their pens is the best way of getting them out, but hey, I don't make the decisions. Right, cool. There's some fuel there, which are we going to need? Yes, we're going to need the fuel now. I don't think we've used the fuel by the uh, our starting LZ yet. You'll have to forgive me. I've played this mission once today already. Uh, don't need you. If we don't need the enemy troops, we're just going to shoot them. Because fuck those guys. What's that? Oh god. Alright. Jink, jink. Stick and move. Stick and move. Ah, more fuel. Okay. We like fuel. Ammo is nice, but fuel is equally as nice. Fuel is one of those things that you don't need it until you need it, and when you need it, you need it. Right, let's waste this as well. There we go. I kind of just want to sit down and play this today, but sadly I've got to go to work tomorrow. Oh, god damn it. Can you imagine being one of these people that doesn't have to go to work? Do you even imagine what that must be like? You can do whatever you want every day. Oh. God damn it. Uh, right, there we are. Uh, we've got room for one more. Alright, let's shred this. Open you up. Come on, baby. There we go. And you. Who's left? Oh, hey, friend. Now, those armored cars, usually we go for a clean sweep, but I don't think think we're going to go for a clean sweep this time. I'm pretty sure somewhere here there is armor as well. Uh, fuck you, buddy. Um, yeah, but we obviously, we don't need armor at the moment. We're pretty good. Now, we actually do find another pilot here soon. Surprise. There we go. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Not, don't want troops. No prisoners, no running in this man's army. Not that you're in this man's army, you're this man's enemy, which means you're equally <laughs> not allowed to run. Unless you can run faster than bullets. Right, let's get these guys out. At least we can patch up our armor. I really would love it if uh, each guy you dropped off gave you a little bit of ammo and a little bit of fuel as well. I don't have to like fully restore you, but... I think it would be a nice little uh, uh, <laughs> helpful hand, especially on this mission. Um, in this mission, which I have uh, basically expressed how hard it is, and I haven't actually died yet. kind of wish that I had recorded my practice run. Well, actually, uh, I had three practice runs on this game. Um... Uh, on this level, I should say. And that's because two of them ended up in me dying. Which, you know, was fun. Actually, no, I died in all of my practice. Mm, yeah, 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 that's right, because I had four, I remember. Are you Roz? Yes, you're Ross. It looks like we found Roz. Now we can annihilate the weapons plant. Yes, we can. Look how fast our guns fire now. And she is, like, ridiculously accurate. Uh, Roz is a beast, and there is only one uh, person that's better than her. The only problem with her is the amount of ammo that you go through is insane. Absolutely insane. 
Okay, uh, we're bingo fuel. Bingo fuel. Alright, come on, let's grab you. Mission 5 complete. We're good, we're good. So somewhere in this bit there was fuel, wasn't there? Ah, bollocks. Where was that fuel? We might actually die. Oh no. I was going to say, we might actually die here looking for fuel. But nah, we're good. Right, what's in that? Ammo. Do we need ammo? Uh, kind of, I guess. We'll grab that. Okay, so we're on to the weapon plant. Enemy fighter plane factory. The drug lord has taken over a complex of 11 buildings to assemble fighter planes. Destroy these structures and planes. Uh, destroy these structures and planes. Destroy these structures and the planes and parts. Really? That was bad writing. Before uh, they become operational. Yeah. Now, there are armored cars here. Quite a few of them. And as we've said before, armoured cars are actually quite dangerous. Uh, read very dangerous. Uh, especially when they're in alert zones. And there are actually a few alert zones around here that shouldn't be here if you ask me. They literally serve one purpose and that's to piss you off. Right, we're going to open these up with the guns. Now, <laughs> these buildings have loads and loads of armor. So, look at those plane parts. They don't look like they'll be fighter jet parts, if you ask me. But, hey, what do I know? Alright, let's completely open these up. They almost look like space shuttle fronts, and there's an armored car deciding to show his ugly fucking face. So, let's waste him. Oh, great. Brilliant, Roz. Just what I wanted. I didn't actually want you to aim at the guy we were trying to kill. The guy that, you know, was trying to kill us. Nice work, aiming at the bloody armoured car. Where do you find these guys? Right, he's gone. Okay. Uh, get plenty of armour, at least. Which is nice. What's in there? These factories are kind of strange as well. They look more like, um, I don't know, lunch boxes or something. But hey, I guess that's the style at the time. Uh, what are we doing? We're actually not too bad. Guns are running low, because of course they are. Because Roz is uh, <laughs> in charge. And she likes nothing more than to go through belts and belts of ammo. Bless her. I just wish she would not aim at the objective and aim at the things trying to kill us. That would be cool. Now, is my old co-pilot, has he been like thrown out of the helicopter now? Or is he now sitting on my lap? Or is Roz sitting on my lap? I don't know what's going on here. It seems like it would actually be quite cramped in this helicopter now. Right. We're making good progress here. Oh, look. Now, these are the actual fighter planes. They look quite different, don't they? They actually look quite mean. Almost look like stealth fighters, and that couldn't have come at a better time. Right, let's destroy these armoured cars. Because I'm pretty sure one of these armoured cars has... something that we want inside and we are getting low on fuel because of course we are you got anything for me? no now I'm sure one of these somewhere has a life hmm. there is fuel here somewhere I know it I know we've opened up some fuel. Luckily, as I said, I've got my maps here somewhere. Let's have a look on my map. Uh, fuel drums. Ooh. Okay, well, there's fuel by this A car over here, apparently. 
hopefully it's one that we haven't picked up because the game won't actually tell us if we picked it up or not I'm guessing we haven't I'm guessing it's in here come on baby come on come on come on defuel yes nice hey piss off you get out of here and you come on stop passing around armor yeah why not we'll take it now the cool thing about armor is it will actually tell us where it is on the map interestingly enough it won't tell us where anything else is but it'll tell us where bloody armor is uh, work that out all right what's in you ammo i'm guessing no yeah, armor huh okay You can go. What, what, what have you? Oh God! That was juicy. Is this the life? Yes, I knew that. Oh, okay. So the life's actually here. It's not actually in a uh, armored car. I kind of thought it was. Right, let's go to town on these guys. Yeah, as you can see, like these are bigger than the actual fighter jets they look more like they're building some kind of transport jet which would make sense if you need an army you need transporters as well as uh, combat craft I would assume ah, I was going to say couldn't even see that crate there we go nice Right, come on. Yeah. Yeah, who needs ammo? Who needs all this ammo? Just to hose everything down. I guess it's better lighting up the jungle floor than uh, flying in our... Oh, hello. Yeah, you can come for a ride, sir. Why not? Okay. Now we've pretty much decimated the entire enemy uh, camp here. Which is, oh god, a cart. Oh man, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. You're gone. Oh, right, danger zone. And there's our commander friend. The commander that's going to tell us everything we want to know. There we go. This commander cracked like a safe. He gave us the location of all the fuel and ammo. Now, if we look at this. There isn't really a lot. I mean, there's enough for sure, but there isn't a lot. Now, is that a car going to be in an alert zone? No. No, you went down way too easy to be in an alert zone. Let's just reload all of our supplies. Yeah, so. Funny enough, um, that commander is actually the final mission. And like I said, he is. Yeah, this guy. Uh, capture the armaments expert from the enemy barracks. He knows the locations of the ammo and the fuel supplies in this area. Now, I can understand making it difficult to get to him. But to make him the final mission and surround him by alert zones? pretty savage don't you think now like all missions in uh, the strike series once you know what you're doing it's not that hard um, you know but learning this mission is very very hard and very frustrating especially back in the day obviously because uh, you know as a kid I didn't really have the most amount of patience in the world and uh, replaying this mission over and over and over again frustrated the hell out of me I don't actually remember the first time I completed it look how sloppy this is though you, really, you don't have to destroy all of these things no wonder um, these guys still have advanced weapons in later missions when we come to destroy their factories and we only do half a job there we go, look at that clean sweep and with that the mission is completed at last thank fuck for that
Oh, I said I wasn't going to destroy all these armoured cars, I think. But, you know what? Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys in the ass. I hate these things. Do you know how much frustration these armoured cars um, <sighs> delivered me as a young lad? I was thinking, you know, I just want to complete this mission. Get it done. Get it out of the way. Forget about it. But actually... Considering we have annihilated this mission fairly easily, let's have some fun. Let's go for a clean sweep. And I'm curious to see if these are any of these armored cars actually have any goodies in them. Doesn't look like it. Hey, you fuck off, pal. And you. There's a lot of enemies still on these levels as well. And there's one all the way over here in the corner. But that's okay, because we know where all the fuel... You can die. All the fuel and armor is located. In which case, where's the close... Ooh, fuel is quite far away. And look at that, we didn't even use the fuel... Or the ammo <laughs> that we started with. Nice. I would almost be so bold to say that was a textbook... Uh, finished this mission and there's all the armored cars gone yeah they're actually fairly dangerous not quite as dangerous as the uh, enemies in the next level of course the MLRS which is kind of interesting because MLRS is multi-launch rocket system and <laughs> that's not quite what they are in this but hey we we'll forgive it let's go drop these guys off there we go Get the hell out. Oh, I'm really not looking forward to work tomorrow either. God damn it. I mean, it's only a half day. It's only half, up, half past five till 11. And there's my missus sneezing her little nose off. Bless her. Uh, right, let's go land. Call this one a mission. That's a wrap. And God, am I glad that one's done. And as always, we're going to go for Shift F5. We're going to save. There we go. Yes. So, guys, uh, when we come back, we're going to continue on to the next mission, which I don't think is quite as hard as this one. Uh, Night Strike is definitely one of the hardest missions in the whole series. But as I haven't playtested the, the rest of the game, <laughs> my opinion on that very well might change. So, thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.